Bienvenidos and welcome back to Puro Pinche Gol, the place we discuss all things USMNT y la Selección Mexicana. My name is Adrian, joining me once again, my co-host, Tocayo, Adrian. Adrian, what's good, man? How are you, dude? Hey, man, how's it going? Welcome back. Another week, uh, Monday night, and I'm, I'm ready, dude. I'm just ready, man. Ready to be unleashed on today's uh-huh. topic. Yes, sir. Yeah, so today's episode, we're going to be discussing a, a recent comment made by the one, the only, the USMNT, I guess, legend, if you consider him a legend. He was one of the ones who paved the way for Americans in Europe, in Italy Clown, especially. Clown, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but a comment's made by Alexi Lalas, um, more, b- better of a player than a, a commentator, I think. Um, comments that have been trending for, like always, his comments trend, controversial reasons. Uh, let's get into it. I, I want to. I want to hear your thoughts, and definitely want to hear our uh, listeners' thoughts in the comments below on on this hot take that he he talked about after uh, Inter Miami's uh, win against FC Dallas the other day. Um, so his quote was uh, in reference to defending in the MLS. Quote: Why are you complaining that people aren't defending? Uh, this is from a defender. I don't give a crap. The defenders are good. I want to see goals. I want to see attacking soccer. I don't want MLS to now run out and spend money on defenders. That's not sexy. Nobody gives a crap about that. People want to see goals, and Messi scores goals. People do not want to see defending. So, you know, half of the whole sport of football soccer <laughs> is defending, the other half yeah. being attacking. We mentioned in our, and we got some flack for it, but we mentioned in our video commenting about the League's Cup and how it exposed some of the MLS teams, how, you know, their game plan is attack 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 and that works well in the mls because mls defending is not up to par with their attacking it's it's Mm -hmm. you know mls tends to prioritize attacking and spend their money on attacking play 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 players just because you know like alexi said it's probably more quote-unquote sexy to watch right uh especially for the american viewer who's used to watching nba scores 140 to 120 100 20 to 100, 100 to 100, right? Or NFL where it's like 35 to 28, whatever, um, where it's a lot higher playing or a higher point system, right? Versus one nil or two nil. But uh, what, you know, a lot of, I, I don't know, I wouldn't say casuals, but a lot of uh, not soccer fans in the United States don't understand is that, you know, soccer, it's it might be low scoring, but even a 0-0 game can have, can be a great game, right? I mean, yeah, you 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 get accustomed to watching these uh, very defensive tactical battles. It's like a game of chess. Uh, how are you going to unlock this defense that you know has been prepared for this match? Uh, how are your def- uh, offensive players going to be able to um, you know penetrate this, score goals here, and maybe they'll just score one goal and that that's enough. But uh, you know, it's just as important having a good defense as having a, a good offense. Um, before we, I keep making comments on this, give me your first thoughts on that on that initial you know quote from Alexi Lalas. No, I I mean, this guy's a clown, dude. I mean, this is the same guy who uh, suggested that American shootout should be you know the I guess the move of the future for FIFA, right? I don't know if you're familiar with. Oh, I guess a lot of our fans will gonna be are gonna be familiar with American shootout, but for those who aren't, it's essentially a you know. It's it's a it's a stage of the match, or I guess uh, if a team ties, right? Uh, they will give one player the chance to essentially run up all the way to the box to shoot and score a goal, and the keeper is free to move as he wishes. It's not you know fun whatsoever. I don't think it's beneficial for the keeper in any way. It's actually more it's uh, it's more detrimental for the keeper than the uh, the uh, current the current P- uh, PK situation. But this just goes to show that. Alexis Lalas is your friend's dad who doesn't know anything about f- foot football and he's making you know all these outrageous comments because as you said he wants to see big scores um so to me this, this is just a guy who's trying to uh, you know to make some incendiary comments uh he we know that Alexis Lalas is a, is a huge fan of MLS and he's a USSF uh for the lack of a word uh accolade because uh, I don't want to, I don't want to use strong words right now. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I, I, I strongly disagree with this guy. I mean, it's a, it's a common rhetoric that we see on MLS that you know they have bad defenders, and the the only excuse they can have is like, well, 
uh, this is a, an emergent uh, league and people want to see big scores, big goals, big plays. They don't want to see, uh, you know, tactical uh, matches or strategies being uh, implemented so they can, so they, they counter each other out, right? Um, and if anything, to me, it's like, I, I, to me, a good game, is, it's a game that it's, uh, it's close by, by a very narrow difference, right? If I see like a 6-0 or 7-1 or 8-2, you lost me after the third, after the fourth, third goal, dude. Like, like what the one, uh, uh, LFC against Juarez. I turned that thing off after the fourth goal, dude. I'm like, this is done. Right. right? I'm not, I, there's nothing else for me to see here. Right. This is just LFC destroying Juarez. I mean, there's nothing else to see but that. So, oh. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, to a point, I, I get what you're saying. In, in, in the short term, Maybe it's good for the league, right? Uh, you know, um, bringing in Messi, uh, helping MLS get coverage worldwide, helping Leagues Cup get coverage worldwide, helping Apple TV. At media, Apple TV currently uh, this past week released a statement saying that uh, Messi pushed them over their expected uh, subscriptions. So that's good, right? I mean, people love to see Messi, and they love to see Messi score goals. He has seven goals and one assist in the, his first four games. So for Crazy. the time being, it's exciting, I guess, right? But... Um, to help grow the league into that point. But eventually your league's going to have to be to become a mature league and to become a league that gets taken seriously on the, on the national, on the international stage. It's going to have to be a, a league that develops and, uh, you know, nurtures and has both aspects to the football, right. To, you know, offense and defense. Um, eventually if people are going to may, may like you, like you said, you, you were watching LAFC and you lost interest. Eventually, maybe people are going to lose interest in watching a quote unquote man playing against kids, Messi playing against this type of defender, right? Yeah, it, it's mm-hmm. it's not fun to watch. Uh, no, yeah, right, yeah. right, right now it, it's cool, kind of because I mean it's new. He's the fresh new toy. Um, he's scoring goals, and uh, the the mad the games have been, I guess, for the most part, even and close because Inter Miami's defense is also trash. Um, but, uh, so, you know, like the FC Dallas game has been four, four, it was a mm-hmm. close match, but I mean, at the same time, it wasn't, a it wasn't a defensive masterclass by any means. And yeah. a lot of, a lot of the goals, two of the goals were own goals. Right. Um, so that just kind of shows you where MLS is putting their priority in attacking football. How does, a, as a Mexican fan, a side of this, how, how do you view this? Look, um, <clears throat> Let's let's be clear about something, right? The only reason why Mexican fans or Mexican football fans are following uh, League Cup is because of the Liga MX teams are in them, right? I can guarantee you, at least in our in our inner cir- circle, none of my friends would have bought the MLS season pass if it wasn't for the League Cup, because no one cares about MLS in Mexico. Whatsoever, it's it's stream on ESPN and other services and whatnot. Well, it used to be. Now it's all Apple TV, right? But it, it was it was there, and every now and then, but very randomly, uh, I remember my, my friends watching an MLS match, and it was only because there were there were no other Liga MX matches on a Friday night, uh, but MLS, or you know, it was the end of the day of a long uh, Saturday. Uh, Liga Mekis day and they still wanted to continue watching soccer, but it was always the last thought. So um, the only reason why, you know, they're following this is because their Liga Mekis team is in there and some of them are Messi fans. And that's pretty much it. Uh, to me, as a as a fan of the sport, right? I'm not even going to mention, you know, my nationality or my allegiance to any of the, uh, to any Liga Mekis teams. I have enjoyed Le- League Cup. I don't think it's a bad product, but this is specific, these comments that Alexis Lalas is making, I think are detrimental for MLS in the long term. Short term, yes, absolutely. I think it's it's a it's an interesting move. I'm not gonna say it's smart, but it's a, it's an interesting move that the MLS is it's making, uh, trying to make a break on the world stage. Right, they're bringing in good players. They are trying to be flashy, entertaining. That's that's the American way of doing sports, right? It's always entertainment first, and then uh, I guess the the sporting side of things come in play. Uh, but if you look at the long term, man, um, I think if the MLS really wants to be taken serious as a you know 
strong contender top 10 league in the world, then they should they should worry about this. Uh, they sh- they shouldn't be uh, you know putting putting this aside and just sweep it under the rug and and think that you know the good times are gonna keep on rolling because Messi Messi's old now. Whenever Messi retires, it's gonna happen. Who are they gonna bring? I don't think the likes of Mbappe or uh, Marcus Rashford or uh, what uh, Jude Bellingham, Phil Foden. I don't think they're gonna come to MLS at the age of twenty nine. Right or at the age of thirty, uh, so it, it's they they have to start thinking in the sense of well, what's going to make the MLS more attractive and more competitive is just by making the teams better and a way to imp- significantly improve the roster on these teams and the performance at the conference level, right at Concacaf level, is by just bringing in better defenders. Um, I, I think you know there's in, on every single American sport, every single pundit says. The best offensive, it's a, a strong defense. Then I don't I don't understand why Alexis Lala and Don Garver, I'm not saying Don Garver is saying anything, but clearly his actions and uh, his uh, his decisions for MLS are, are you know are a good statement of his preference of just bringing in strong offensive players. But if we, if we're thinking you know in the next five ten years, the ML, if the MLS is going to survive and become a force to be reckoned in the continent and in the world stage. They need to start looking at, at a different path, man. When league, when MLS decide to raise the salary cap or get rid of the salary cap, I can see changes being made, uh, and you know, defense as well as offense being prioritized, and uh, that's probably when we'll see the big um, jump in product level and in you know competition, and uh, just seeing uh, you know this league is a force to be reckoned with now. Um, it's definitely moving that way. Um, I, I think in the short term, like we said, that they're they're making the right decisions, but uh, they definitely have to have to move to the point where it's um, they're prioritizing both right and uh, offense and defense, and uh, hopefully yeah. that's sooner rather than later, man. Um, these comments just don't help, and they give it that that look of uh, you know we're, we're the USA, we're gonna do it our way like we always do, and even though. Uh, you know, it might not work out for the for the benefit of the yeah. of the league. Um, you know, we, we watch MLS, and uh, we you know we've been hitting it hard this year since Apple TV makes it more accessible. We love yeah. Apple TV, and uh, yeah, we see a lot of goals, but yeah, we do also see a lot of mistakes defensively and uh, mistakes that you don't see in you don't tend to see in a more serious or competitive league. Um, yeah, and, you know, and, and additionally to that is like. Um... You know, MLS as a product is tough to sell to those football fans, right? Like yourself and myself and uh, all the PPG Nation who have been following the sport since the, you know, our own inception, right? Since we were born, it was, you know, this is our go-to sport, right? I know you like American football. I know you like uh, basketball, baseball. You like all of the American sports. But the one that you actually follow the most and with the highest passion is football or soccer, right? And it's tough to sell a product to someone like us who really understand and value the 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 intricacies of the of the of the game right that we really we feel comfortable watching a 0-0 match because we understand the i guess the <clears throat> the not not the we we really understand the the mastermind behind every single play we understand that when you watch the game, it isn't necessarily about where the ball is going, but how the players are moving on the pitch, right? So for, for you know, the two of us and our, our, and our listeners out there, it's it's a tough sell when you have to go and say, hey, man, you know what? You have 29 uh, teams on a league, um, and some of them don't even have, like, two years <laughs> of existence. Uh, go try to, go tr- you know, choose whatever you like, right? You have 20 different flavors that you can pick from. And by the way... Uh, you're going to see more than two goals per match, right? So to me, in paper, it's like, all right, that sounds attractive, right? I have a variety. I have to, I can look at, you know, multiple cities and maybe fall in love with one of the, one of the teams. But when, but when you sit down and look at, the, look at the matches, I'm not saying they're boring, but, but they are unamusing to me, right? If I'm, if, for, for, the, for the average, well bears football fan, it isn't amusing at all. But for the, you know, not regular kind of average, I go to the match because it's entertainment for me. I don't really follow or I don't really understand the, 
uh, I guess the the complexity the complexity of the sport. Um, I'm okay with this, right? I'm I'm here to see big goals, big playmakers, you know, bullies, uh, goals from distance, and and I get it. I mean, that's that's the people who Alexis Lalas is is catering to, and that, those are the people who MLS are catering catering to as well. So it's a uh, you know. Uh, for for a few of us, we are left in you know between a sword and and the wall, uh, because it's just you know I want to like MLS, but it's difficult for me to really enjoy it. Yeah, um, I think it, it limits the the enjoyment that, uh, like you said, that uh, soccer aficionados have. You know that that really understand the sport, just because yep. you're missing one whole half of the sport <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, very deep comments by Lalas. Uh, very passionate comments by him. Um, please let us know in the comments below. What do you think of these comments? Uh, do you see MLS kind of moving towards a more, you know, we'll start spending on defense, making a more all-around better product? Or do you see MLS sticking with, you know, goals, goals, goals? Um, hopefully, I know, I know for you and me, we, we kind of want to see a more better round, all-around product. So, We'll see what what developments happen with MLS. I, I think it's better for the league in long term, competing on an inter- international stage to be able to develop a uh, better, more all around product. Uh, the young man, as we wrap this up, dude, where can the listeners find us? Yeah, man, they can always find us on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notifications. You can also find us on Apple Podcast, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast on. Last but not least, you can also find us on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Puro Pinche Gol. Uh, we post stuff every now and then. I guess it's now called X instead of Twitter, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who's, who's yeah. keeping track of that? Exactly. Um, yeah, make sure to follow us and uh, again, let us know below your comments. Uh, we like interacting with you guys out there in the comment section. At the end, man, another interesting topic here with you. Um, let's get back to watching the League's Cup and uh, I'll see you in the next one, brother. Take it easy. Screw Lalas. <laughs> see you, man. <laughs>